Uh, Doug, you're an outspoken uh, advocate against government intrusion in our lives. What was your response to the film or uh, the, the case in general? Well, I, I think it's just truly shocking and disgusting. And instead of people watching these ridiculous crime dramas that you see on television where the, just, where the judge is wise and the jury is judicious and the prosecutors are honorable and the cops don't take bribes and aren't thieves uh, and the FBI are all noble people that join it because they want to serve their fellow. This is a gigantic lie. Uh, the whole system is corrupt through and through, as far as I'm concerned, from the laws they operate under to these huge bureaucracies which have metastasized and become criminal uh, conspiracies. I don't believe in conspiracies, really, but uh, it's turned into that. Uh, so um, I wish something could be done in the case of uh, Ross, or if not just Ross, but about a million other people in this country alone that are in the same situation. But I'm afraid that uh, there's not much that can be done until the uh, old rotten structure is brought down. And that brings us to another problem, because after a rotten structure is brought down, things don't get better, they get worse. Just like in 1789 in France, wonderful the rotten structure was brought down. Then it got worse with Robespierre, and worse with Napoleon. And in 1917 in Russia, the rotten structure was brought down. But then they got Lenin, and then they got Stalin. So I think the structure is going to collapse here because the most malignant entity on the face of the earth at this time is the U.S. government. This is perfect proof of it, although one of many examples. But it's going to get worse after it comes down. That's just the way it works. So uh, that's not an uplifting message, I'm afraid, but I think it's the truth. <laughs>